I grew up in Katy, Texas, and I was drawn to the ocean from the very beginning. My parents took me to the beach in Galveston, and you know, I just always had this desire to be by the water. And so when it was time to go to college, I decided to come to Corpus Christi and just start studying marine biology because that's where my heart has always been. It's considered Mother Nature's greatest masterpiece a canvas she painted with infinite shades of blues and greens, creating a panorama that stretches forever across the horizon. It's easy to see why people have had their hearts stolen by the sea, so much so that they've dedicated their lives to saving it. Nice. Cool, so we'll just take them up to the environmental yeah, chamber. Environmental. So our lab focuses on coastal restoration and we do a lot of work with oysters and restoring different types of coastal habitats. Coastal restoration. Yes. Explain that. We spend a lot of time figuring out how to restore habitats in the coastal area. So like oyster reefs are very important to the Texas economy and to the environment here. And so we work to replace the habitat that's been lost due to oyster harvest. And that allows baby oysters to come in and grow, which just continues the cycle. When we restore oyster reefs, we typically restore in St. Charles Bay at Goose Island State Park. Danielle Downey is a research specialist at the Hart Research Institute for Gulf of Mexico Studies, where she and her team focus on oyster reefs. Once dominant habitats and estuaries worldwide, they've experienced greater losses than any other marine habitat in our state. But that's where one of their programs called Sink Your Shucks is stepping in to help out. Part of our Sink Your Shucks oyster recycling program, we partner with local restaurants to gather their shells up and we store them for about six months. And then during community restoration events, we take those shells and put them back into the water to build a reef. We had to modify our restaurant operations a little bit, but not much, really not much, to where those shells went into a special bin and then back out into a special area by the dumpster, and then they were picked up by big, burly, undergrad students with no sense of smell because those things will sit out there in the summertime and then they're, they're pungent. So that's how that started. Brad Lomax and the Water Street Oyster Bar have been instrumental in the Sink Your Shucks program, which has collected almost two million pounds of shells to date. That's resulted in more than 25 acres of restored oyster reef habitat, a habitat that's more important to our well-being than most people realize. So what I'm doing here is I am sorting a sample from St. Charles Bay, which is where we have our Sink Your Shucks program. And this sample is representative of about one bag's worth of animals that live in a chunk of reef. So we've got snails, we've got worms, um, different types of crabs, shrimp, fish. And as you can see, there's a lot of things that are thriving on this reef that has been restored. So this is a very productive little sample right here. Have you noticed a lot of dermo in the samples? Oysters are a very important habitat along the Texas coast, and so they, they provide water filtration for the whole bay, they um, protect shorelines from erosion, and they also create habitat for little fish and crabs up to like the sport fish that everybody goes for, the redfish, the trout. If this wasn't going on, if people like you weren't putting them back, mm -hmm. were they just annihilated? They were, there weren't oyster beds or what happens? Um, I mean, if there is nothing for them to settle on, they really don't, they just, they don't. Why do you think you're so passionate about this? I just love the ocean from the moment that 
I was introduced to it and it's always something new. Whenever you go out, you're never gonna see the same thing twice and it's just, it's beautiful to me. Like two best friends, mankind and the ocean have grown up together. It's tranquil tides providing a never-ending beauty that nourishes the soul. Look at him walking across my hand. Yes. While also delivering delicacies from the deep. But Danielle Downey says the sea needs our help now more than ever. And then you carry this to the water and... And thanks to Sink Your Shucks, they are helping to save our shores. An oyster shell in the landfill is a resource out of place. And we want to get more people to do it. Because, you know, I mean, we're one restaurant in a medium-sized Texas city. I mean, look at, look at the number of seafood restaurants and oyster sellers that are out there. If we could get that recycling program, I mean, we could, we could bring Texas back to the way it was in the 1800s. What is your ultimate goal in, in working with the ocean? My ultimate goal is to leave it better than it is right now for my son and for future generations. You think you're doing that? I hope so. I think the work that we're doing to restore the habitat and help restore the oyster populations will at least make our corner of the world a little bit better.